single now. We're swagging and so So that's what we're doing now. That, that's what we're doing now. We're swagging and surfing. We're walking it out in church, in the house of God. Come on, man. Where's the standard? Where's the standard? I've heard people say, well, he's trying to connect with the young people. There is a way to connect with the young people without doing this. Everyone, this is Ashley here. Now, I really have to talk about this. I really have to talk about Pastor William Murphy and his end of year service. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So apparently during his end of year service, he had some type of concert or club show where he music in the sanctuary. Now take a look at this collage that I put together with his service and with Gino Jenin responding to his service. Take a look and we'll talk about it. We got a DJ in the building. In church! In church! Amen. What's the matter with you? God, I wish I, I wish I had some young people up here with me who, who would just help me walk it out, y'all. Some of y'all kind of old, but you remember that. I, I need somebody to get up and just walk it out real quick. Just walk it out, walk it out, y'all, y'all. We got a DJ in the building. How can that trash come and trash? Yeah. DJ in the building. This thing about to turn up real quick. So the music industry has become a convenient tool loaded with the spirit of Satan. That's right. That's right. And now you church folk, That's you are satanic lovers. Yeah. Because the same music yeah. is right in your church. Yeah. That's why you find church folk now. Church folk. That's right. You move like the world. You act like the world. You sing like the world. Yeah. You dance like the world. Yeah. You talk like the world. That's right. Which shows you're not a new creature. Not a new creature. I need you to get up. Put your arms around your neighbor. Get up. Put your arms around your neighbor. Tell them we're going to walk this thing out together. When I walk. You're going to see a lot of stuff this year, even in people that call themselves the children of God, those that, 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 that claim to be the face of gospel music and Christian, you're going to see. You're going to see it this year, stuff that you didn't think church folk would ever do. You're going to see it because the enemy knows that he has but a short time. Amen. If he can twist somebody's mind, he'll never pass up an opportunity to twist somebody's understanding of God. And those that we call influencers, you got to be careful. I'm telling you, the Bible should be the only influence in your life. All that. I mean, so apparently this man, this pastor, William Murphy, he decided to have a full-blown concert during his end of year service where he's encouraging people to walk it out. He's, he has a DJ and he's telling them the dance moves and all these things. And I just wanted to talk about this scripture because this is important to, to, to talk about. Okay. Now in second Corinthians six, verse 17, it said, wherefore come out from among them and be he separate says the Lord and touch not the unclean things. And I will receive you. God call us as Christians 
to separate ourselves from the things of this world. And when you see a pastor, church leader, encouraging on people to come into the house of the Lord, which is supposed to be a holy place, right? This is where we come and we lay sacrifices. We worship God um, in the sanctuary for him to, to encourage to, to play secular music in the sanctuary. It is against God, the things that God want us to do. The Bible says, wherefore come out from among them, not because we are in this world. That means we have to participate in everything that the world is doing. He said he, he want us to be separated and he said we should not touch unclean things. These music, these secular music, these music are, are, are encouraging people to sin. All these things that is against the word of God, he's playing in the church. Now, I truly believe that this is a publicity stunt. I believe that nowadays these leaders, when their church is not, um, don't have enough people, they put these things on so it can go viral. And so people could talk about it. And so more people could come to his church in Atlanta. I'm sure that next week his, his, his service is going to be full. But what, what they're doing now is that they're focusing on the quantity of the people in the sanctuary and not the quality. Now you can have a lot of people in the church, but are the, are, are those people living a holy life? Are those people doing the things that God want us to do? Now he said, I'm going to play this video of him saying that, well, people are such and such people are, was saved. Uh, hey, y'all do me a favor. If people are on here saying stupid stuff, and yes, I say it's stupid because it's stupid. 150 people got saved. What, did, what? What? How many people got saved at your church Sunday night? Let's start there. This shuts the conversation down, y'all. Don't don't argue with nobody. Just ask them. How many people got saved at your church Sunday? No, 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 no. I'm not. No, no, not the people who were mad at their last pastor because he held them accountable and they left mad. And then they came to join your church because their season shifted. Now, I'm not talking about those folks. I'm talking about folks who weren't in church, who felt something supernatural in your church and decided to partner. If you can't out soul win me, shut your mouth. Are they saved the right way? Because if it takes you to um, play ungodly music, secular music into a service for people to get saved, I don't believe that's right. I truly believe that the Bible, the Bible speak the truth and the Bible said the truth shall set you free. It said, wherefore come out from among them and be ye separated. Now I, I noticed that a lot of church leaders are bringing the world into the church because they want more people to come to the church. They're diluting the gospel. They're making the gospel more, I guess they're promoting the gospel as something that is just, you could be this, you could do that. You could dance this, you could sing this, you could do whatever you want. As long as you come to church, this is not what God called us. He said to be separated. And it also said not to touch the unclean things. These music that he's playing is unclean. It's the, the lyrics of the music. I'm going to show you the lyrics of the music. And I want you to tell me if this is supposed to be playing in church. But let me just end this by saying the end of the scripture said, do not touch what do not touch. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. So because of him playing all these ungodly things in the church, God is not going to receive these sacrifices. If they're saying that they're, they're praising and worshiping, the, the lyrics of the music is not holy, is not, is not praising and worshiping God. So no matter if 30, 50, 60 people so-called got saved, if they got saved by this type of strategy, uh, God is not going to receive them. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Have a blessed day.